This video is for to get Star Citizen working with four packs. Using a uh, Oculus DK2. This is the new Warpex 16.1.2 version Oculus SDK for Windows version 1.3.0 Star Citizen Alpha 2.3.1 And this is uh, April 16th, just after tax day. Joy. Okie dokie. First thing is turn on my Oculus. And sometimes it'll boot to start this Oculus right here automatically. Now we're going to go ahead and start it. There we go. And looking through the headset, I uh, got it started and then started just like it's supposed to. So on uh, the home down there. And I want to just minimize this, get it out of the way. And if I just hit start bore packs, it'll try to start. And for me, it does not. So, that gives me a little problem. I think it's. This here is start desktop, just like this down here is. Come on, pop up there. That's desktop viewer. All right. Open and oh yeah. Click the desktop viewer. Okay, now looking through the DK2, I get going to home in there. All right. And that did not work. So now we'll start the desktop viewer. Okay. Let's close that. Double click and then real quickly double click on this. I think I double clicked it. I'll do it again just to make sure. Okay. Okay, it started. That's what I want. And in the DK2, it's showing, I'm sorry, we're having trouble loading Orpex control. But that's not a problem. That's just what it does. So now I'm going to start the viewer there from the icon. Now in the DK it changed and now I got my desktop inside my DK2 working. Next thing I want to do is I want to open this shortcut again and pause the watcher. Do it one more time to make sure. Yeah, resume watcher. Okay, that's just what we want right there. Now, I'm going to start, my Star Citizen, alright, and you can see right here with the patch, 
Let's all get on there. Is Star Citizen Alpha 2.3.1. Okie dokie. Go ahead and launch the game. And while it's starting, I'm going to put my headset on. Now I'm going to hit the middle mouse button because I'm zoomed in too much. There we go. And we're just going to go to the hangar. Basically, we're just showing that it's running. And I'm in the viewer right now. I'm frame rate at 26. Oh, before we do that, something more important. Let's go to options. Your graphics here. Have we got to be set to full screen? No. Alright. Pool screen, no. Let's go back. And we're going to go to the hangar. And before I do, I've had problems with my the headset recognizing me turning my head in the game if I don't hit the W key quick enough in the game. So i got to get my hand on the W key to move in the game when I go to the hangar. Alright, I hit the W key and once I hit the W key I can turn my head no problem. And uh, look all around. I'm going to bring up my uh, delete key and I got virtual cinema mode off. Alright, we're going to change to uh, display settings just so you can see that it is the Oculus. Alright, you see? <laughs> Turn that off. And okie dokie. That just to let you know that the Oculus is running. Star Citizen name. We got virtual cinema mode off, so it puts you in real close so it looks like you're in alright okay and uh, let's see about so I take a look here at my frame range 25 and uh, you can see my system that I'm using right there on the corner content mono uh, mono Crystal high, black off, aspect ratio one to one, and I got my image zoomed to, for me about 82. Uh, you may want it a little bit different to feel comfortable, and uh, D2 is zero. Direct mode off. Direct mode, show original off, direct mode, authentic render on, direct mode from rate, sync full, direct mode GPU safest, uh, iCups A, peak edge 3D, and that could be either 3D or 2D. And I got my peak edge at 0.56 right now. So I can zoom out and see quite a bit. Alright. And now we'll go to head tracking on. Sensitivity I have at 1.25, which you'd want different for you. See, you see my hand down there. Look around. If I keep turning my head, my body will turn. There we go. See it turn. Okay. And I got. Roll
roll on. Um, let's turn it off for a second. That kind of makes me feel really. Ugh. <laughs> let's turn it back on like that. There we go. And the rest off, off, and off. I got uh, disabled mouse acceleration on, yes. Multi threading input on. The Xbox off. And the head tracking gamepad off. And gamepad settings, uh, I really don't use that. Virtual hotkey, just the standard. And back. Yeah, I'm not going to do any flying or anything this time. I just kind of thought you all would want to know that was working good. And it's a whole lot better. I'm going to have to get my joysticks all together and uh, get them all recalibrated and flying. I just found out this. I just love this detail in this game. Let's see. Let's go ahead. Can't turn my head because it's cinema. be great to be out flying with the Oculus working like it's supposed to. Yeah, my frame rate just sitting here is 24. And uh, we'll go ahead and hit the setting page again. Options. There it is. Graphics. And I have everything on very high. Just love that detail. Well, this bad boy. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see I hope to see that it helped you guys out. See you out there. This bad boy out.